My name is Avril. I'm 19, I'm from Bartley Green in Birmingham. We are at Tysley Depot, where I am a second year Rolling Stock apprentice. I chose the apprenticeship at West Midlands Trains because the railway is a really big industry in this country. It's the fact that you get the hands-on experience at the same time in the actual job that really appeals to me. We're underneath the trains every single day. So I'm just going to check that these radiator covers are on tightly so they don't fall off in service. I've come from college, this is the first job I've had. And then you walk in and there's trains and there's everyone moving around and there's forklifts everywhere. I actually get these trains to and from work in the morning and it's a really great thing to see what I'm doing at work being used in the real world by loads of different people. It's always best to just clean any labels that you find so you can see dates, and any part numbers that we might need. So as I was growing up, I really enjoyed problem solving and how things fit together and learning how things worked. At the age of 15, I moved from a regular secondary school to a university technical college, Aston Uni Engineering Academy, where I did the level two engineering VTEC. After that, I left to college and did a level three in electrical engineering. Everyone was kind of talking about what uni they wanted to go to, but I didn't really think that was the route for me. So I started looking through different apprenticeships. The bolts get tightened to a specific torque tightening so they don't fall off while the train is moving. These are tested every 75,000 miles that the train does. Yeah, it's part of something we do called PPM, which is Planned Preventative Maintenance. So we maintain it before something bad happens. When I moved to college, I was the only girl in my class, but since moving to an apprenticeship and moving to the depot, there are actually more girls here. I've never been treated any differently as being a woman. There are other women on the depot, there are other female apprentices who will be passing out as technicians soon. If you wanted to go above a level three, there's opportunities for that here. There are past apprentices and technicians who are on HNC courses now. You don't need to go to uni to be in engineering, but if you'd like to, there's always the opportunity to grow. So here is the bolt that puts in the main air filter for the train. I'm going to make sure this is secure again so it doesn't come out during service. I'm really glad I made the choice to go into engineering and I'm really proud of what I've pushed myself to do. I think after finishing the apprenticeship I'd like to stay on shop floor for a while and gain some experience and in the future I really hope to be training up other apprentices, especially some more girls just like me.